What is up, Copy Squad? It's your boy, Kyle Milligan, coming to you live from Baltimore, Maryland. Today, we're going to talk about how to be more creative in writing. What we're going to be talking about is coming up with an the process of coming up with an idea is creativity. Like if I had to separate the two words. So an idea is the result and creativity is like the formula or the process. Like how do I come up with weird stuff? So I've done a, a video on ideas before and I've also done an, a video with James Altucher where he talked about coming up with 10 ideas a day. And he was actually one of the first adopters of new, easy, safe, and big. He's one of the first people I told about, and he really loved that idea that there's four big selling emotions, and he bought in, he put it on his Twitter, he put it on Facebook. But I talk about those big four emotions, new, easy, safe, and big, and these are the most important sales emotions that exist. Uh, I talk about that inside my book. It's called Take Their Money. It's available at kylethewriter.com forward slash book. So the creative process. So basically... Uh, when me and James talked about ideas, he talked about like flexing your idea muscle a lot and basically coming up with 10 ideas every day because whenever you come up with 10 ideas a day, you basically get practice at coming up with ideas. The coming up with ideas is the creative element of it. And basically what I would say about being more creative, let me tell you a quick story. This will kind of put it in perspective. When I worked in sales, there was this one guy. Keenan and Keenan always had like clever stuff to say. Very creative dude. He always say weird, wacky stuff. And just whenever he said it, I'd be like, "What?" And it was always like a weird sort of like folky way. It almost sounded like everything he said was like grandpa wisdom. It was like some sort of line of wisdom. Like every time he opened his mouth, and I thought that was like the most creative dude I had ever met. And then I remember once I left the country and went to Ireland, right? And then I heard one of those weird expressions, right, in Ireland. And it turns out that weird expression that was super unique and creative to me was just an expression in Ireland. Sort of like if I said, um, bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. And you had never heard that before. And you'd be like, wow, that's incredible. It's so creative. Where'd you come up with that? So I say all this to make the point that I think creativity is a bit of a myth. And basically ideas, the idea generating process, the creativity element of it is just having a plethora of raw materials in your brain so i think I, it's almost like safe to say there are no unique ideas there are no original thoughts everything that you think all your creativity is generally an amalgamation of the experiences that you've had the things that you've read and the things that you've seen which is why i am a huge huge believer basically read constantly philosophy. And when I say read constantly, I'd never encourage you to read about like copywriting theory as much as reading like actual copywriting. Because what makes you more creative on the fly when you're writing copy is the daily practice of reading copy. The theory behind why it works and what makes it work doesn't stimulate new copywriting ideas for me per se. But if I see another writer execute it, and then all of a sudden, like, hey, I could have done that same sort of thing from my own writing. Then all of a sudden, I'm creative when I apply it to my specific and unique subject. But that original idea wasn't necessarily my idea. It was an experience that I had that I was able to adapt and mold to this specific instance. So there is a book called A Technique for Producing Ideas. And it's like, I think it's like a 20-page book. Highly recommend that book. It's like a little, it's like a brochure more than a book. But it just gives you like... Uh, I think five steps, maybe four steps to creating an idea. And it's basically gather a bunch of raw materials and then like study it to death and then unconscious processing. So you got like gather the raw materials is read a bunch of stuff. And then like conscious processing is thinking about it, trying to connect dots and relationships. Then the third step, unconscious processing. So you do conscious processing and then unconscious processing. And that's basically forget about it walk away go it's like one of those classic shower epiphanies where you're just like oh snap or you wake up in the middle of the night and it just comes to you and that's the unconscious process and then you will unconsciously almost accidentally draw the connection right and then that'll be like your eureka moment which would be like step four holy snap i need to write this down and what makes this so powerful what makes it all work what makes a person creative are these plethora of experiences experiences. If you want to create that new experience, you have to bring in a lot more raw materials and then you can create connections. You can draw lines to things that seem unrelated and then create a big new experience for someone else. And that's what creativity is. In my opinion, creativity is just a wealth of experiences that you are able to express 
your unique way. And what makes it unique? Well, you expressed it. Your experiences will be different than everybody else's experiences. I really do think that it is a process that you can practice. That's James Altucher's big thing too. Um, James says, you know, that you flex your idea muscle by doing 10 ideas a day, right? Okay, here's one of the daunting things about 10 ideas a day. People are like, wow, 10 ideas, how am I supposed to come up with all that stuff? Well, you gotta think, like, James is kind of a nerd. He reads a lot. So it's a lot easier for him because he has raw materials. Maybe this is a privilege that he isn't aware of that he has over the common man because he's a big consumer, man. He reads a lot. He's a smart dude. So the more you read, the more raw materials are in your brain. You know, knowledge is power. But yeah, the uh, the whole thing, I'm going to tell you one cool thing. All right, I got, all right, I got two cool things to tell you now. Antonio Damasio is the neuroscientist who discovered that decisions are made at the emotional center of the brain. So in my sales letter, I make the argument that the reason you need new, easy, safe, and big, which is kind of like what I sell, right? You have to speak to the emotions of new, easy, safe, and big, and you can sell pretty much anything. It was Antonio Damasio who discovered through his patient who had a brain tumor that when his emotional center of his brain got damaged, his decision-making center of his brain was damaged. That's what he discovered. So, oh, you can't make decisions without emotion. So the point is, you have to speak to emotions to make sales. And this was called like the systematic hypothesis or something like that. Then this is the cool line that I, I read out of that in my research. And the idea is that our wisdom, the idea of wisdom is not actually knowledge, it's emotion. And here's how that works. So the more emotional experiences you have, then you have more things to tie like yes or no's. Like you understand those things through the emotional reaction that you had. And wisdom, the word wisdom, is really just having a ton of emotional experiences so you can think about things from tons of different emotional perspectives and then you can kind of decide upon like what is a wise course, what is a smart safe or something like that kind of course. So wisdom is not actually about accruing knowledge. It is, a, is it about accruing experiences and the experiences trigger emotions and the emotional reaction that you, uh, that you incur and you remember tell you what things are good in life, what things are rewarding and positive and what things will ultimately lead to a bad outcome, right? And it's all triggered. These, this wisdom, this knowledge, which seems logical on the surface, seems rational, seems like, oh, I just know everything, so I'm wise. You know? That's like your technical, like your, your total like book smarts nerd guy who thinks he's a know-it-all, but everyone thinks he's a total jackass, right? But then you've got this wise old dude who's never read a book. Now, he probably has read some books, but he just seems to know about life. He's got street smarts and that kind of stuff. And it comes down to actual emotion over knowledge, over traditional knowledge of reading books, because this person has experienced more. So it's kind of cool and crazy that the emotional center of your brain is where you make decisions, and it is also where wisdom is theorized to come from. It comes from the emotion, not the knowledge. How crazy is that, right? Again, if you want to learn how to speak to the emotional brain, that's what copywriting allows you to do. Copywriting is a professional language that bypasses the logical brain that just talks about facts and figures and makes no impact in your life, really. Like, I can't sell you on something because I have a good argument. Like, you see this in debates all the time. They got their whole fact sheet, they know their position, and they just go back and forth, pitter-patter, pitter-patter, my facts this, my statistics that. And at the end, whoever you're rooting for, you just say was the winner. It doesn't, it doesn't change anybody's minds. What changes people's minds? What moves people to action? What compels them to do things, to buy things? The emotional center of the brain. Nobody teaches you how to speak to it, but you can learn from my book called Take Their Money at kylethewriter.com forward slash book. It'll teach you the language of copywriting. And the language of copywriting bypasses all this logical BS, goes straight to the emotional center of the brain. And again, creativity, creativity is a result of practice. That's all I've got for today, Copy Squad. Thanks so much for tuning in. Go to kylewriter.com forward slash book if you're interested in checking out my book, Take Their Money. It'll teach you the secret language of copywriting. Speak directly to the emotional brain. Peace out, Copy Squad.